Whether you're new to Maryland or you've lived here your whole life, there's always more to learn about Maryland's natural history and environment. This year, the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center will be a host site for the Coastal Plains section of the Maryland Master Naturalist Program. The Maryland Naturalist Program is designed to offer people who are interested in learning more about the natural history of Maryland. So that's flora and fauna of Maryland. And learn about it through uh, classes that are given by their scientists that are experts in those specific fields. It's a program that's designed for these people then to take that knowledge and share it with others through volunteer slash stewardship um, efforts. So uh, the program is a, um, a program that's given by the University of Maryland's Extension Program. So the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center is going to act as the host site and I will be the facilitator of that and they are going to get 60 hours of education classes and then they are going to get eight hours of field experience off Chesapeake Bay Environmental Site um, that will all focus on specific topics of the coastal plain region of Maryland, so both aquatically and terrestrial, all the plants and animals within it. Um, and I think they're going to get a sense of uh, stewardship and they're going to get a sense of leadership. The only requirements for a registered applicant is they need to be 18 years or older and they need to have no prior knowledge, but they do need to commit um, volunteer hours back to the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center of 40 hours within a year. They also need to be able to complete a project during the class uh, time of that 60 hour class time. So to sign up, you are going to email Courtney Lee at the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center at clee at bayrestoration.org. The application is also available on our website under the Maryland Naturalist page, or they could call 410-827-6694 to get my email address to receive an application. For QAC-TV, I'm Mallory Drummond, and thanks for watching.